Taking a break from terrorizing Hyrule, Ganondorf returns the Smash Brothers to smite anyone that opposes him. Ganondorf's moves generally mirror those of Captain Falcon. However, their varying fighting styles lead to different tactics in combat. Where Captain Falcon is a lean, muscular speedster, Ganondorf is built like a rock from Death Mountain, and you'll need to get used to what few quick movements he's capable of. This means dodging is second nature. It also means becoming familiar with Ganondorf's down special move. Used on the ground, it powers him forward, foot first, making it great for racing into the hordes or after must-have items. In mid-air, use it for a vicious downward kick. The fact is, almost any hit from Ganondorf is going to do a decent amount of damage. Ganondorf's forward special is a unique move. If done on the ground, he'll dash forward, lift a foe by the throat, and set off an explosion that blows them into the ground. If you time it right, they'll be set up perfectly for the double kick of his down smash, or hit the special button for a charged up punch. Ganondorf may be heavy, but he's no slouch in the air. Besides his up special, his aerial forward and down attacks are devastating. Going back to his forward special, if you can grab an enemy in mid-air, you'll simply drive them into the ground head first. For a frustrating twist, use this to finish a stock match by grabbing someone when they're past an edge, kamikaze style. Provided you have more lives than them, of course. For Ganondorf's final smash, he transforms into an enormous beast that fills most of the screen, then dashes across taking out anyone in his path. As if that weren't enough, he'll roar before he charges, which causes anyone standing on the ground to become buried unable to escape. With all this firepower, a little skill and patience can go a long way towards making Ganondorf unstoppable.